Hey guys, I Dubai Soap here, and today I wanted to quickly update you guys on some information in regards to a potential jailbreak for iOS 10.3.1 or 10.3.2. There's a lot going on right now in terms of uh, exploit being released and things that are happening that could potentially lead to a jailbreak. So there's a few things that you may want to know here, and I wanted to share with you guys. First off, iOS 10.3.3 is currently the latest software released by Apple. So if you go to Settings, General, and Software Updates, you're going to get prompted to install 10.3.3. However, you may want to stay away from this software, and here's the reason why. Eon Beard from Project Zero, Google's Project Zero, has released a triple fetch exploit that could potentially lead to a jailbreak. Now, a few developers had chimed in on this, explaining what's going on and what could potentially come out of it. So, one of the most credible source and one of the most credible developers who I want to talk about on Twitter, his name is Morpheus. He tweeted, if you're on iOS 10.3.3, downgrade to 10.3.2 while you still can. Eon Beard's awesome CVE7047. It's a bit unstable, but can be adapted to a dev jailbreak. If you're running 10.3.3, you're probably wondering, how can I downgrade to 10.3.2 or below? Well, I'm going to have in the video description down below, my downgrade tutorial where you can downgrade from 10.3.3 or even iOS 11 to 10.3.2. Now, you may want to do that now because 10.3.2 will probably be done within the next couple of days. Apple is going to close the window for you to downgrade. And when you go to downgrade using the downgrade method, you could be locked out. So you might be asking yourself and wondering, well, what if I'm running iOS 10.2.1? or 10.2 on iPhone 7 without a jailbreak, should I update to 10.3.2? And uh, the thing you want to think about here is we've seen demos for 10.3.1 uh, and 10.3.2 jailbreaks, but nothing has been released yet. We know that the Pangu and Keen team has demonstrated those. Nothing has happened yet from them. We know that the uh, Eon Beard exploit is out there and it could lead to a jailbreak. So if you're on an older software, I would still stay on the oldest version of iOS possible. That's just something I would do. But of course, the decision will be ultimately up to you. The downgrading and upgrading methods is going to be in the description description down below but which by the way is the exact same process if you connect to itunes right now it's going to automatically prompt you to update to 10.3.3 that's not what you want to do so you want to use the downgrade method in the description so you can go ahead specifically restore your device to 10.3.2 if your hopes for a jailbreak on 10.3.2 is something that you're looking forward to so with all that being said what software am I running myself? Well, on this iPhone SE, I updated to 10.3.2 because I do believe that this exploit could lead to something in the future. Would it happen? Well, it's always in the jailbreak scene. We'll just have to wait and see. But there you guys have it. That is the latest information in regards to jailbreak. That about brings it into this video. I hope you guys found this information somewhat helpful. If you did, don't forget to click that like button. Much more videos coming your way. Be sure to stay tuned. It's been a device help, and I'll see you guys real soon. Peace.